Good evening. I'm here to talk about one of the biggest misallocation of resources here in the United States. One out of four working Americans is misstaffed almost 90% of the time. Percolata helps optimize the retail sales teams. My name is Greg Tanaka. I'm founder and CEO. The retail market is massive, $25 trillion. And despite hundreds of billions of dollars being spent over the past couple of decades by many smart, savvy, determined companies trying to get consumers to buy online, 92% of purchases still happen in the physical store. In fact, many online retailers have opened physical stores themselves. The retail store remains a key asset for retail today. As a result, the customer experience in a store is paramount. And this experience is shaped almost entirely by who is staffing the selling floor. Who are the sales associates? Now, matching the supply of sales associates with the demand of customers may seem easy, but it's actually quite difficult. It's really, really hard for three reasons. The first reason has to do with most retailers don't really know the kind of the shopper profile traffic that's going to be coming to the store over the next scheduling period. It's actually a very, very difficult problem. The second issue is that most retailers get the availability of their employees on paper job applications, and they're expected to stick with it during their entire tenure. Contrast this to Uber or Lyft or any of these on-demand companies. How many Uber or Lyft drivers do you think there would be if you had to submit your availability when you signed up for the app and were expected to stick with it? And the third problem, and this is the most important problem, is that retailers, for the most part, kind of treat their workers as warm bodies. Maybe this is OK for task-based work, if we were stocking a shelf. But for selling floor work, this is actually absolutely the wrong thing to do. Because the difference in performance between the average sales associate and the top sales associate is 10x different. These are the challenges that Percolata solves. So to illustrate this, this is some actual data from one of our customers. I'm actually wearing the shoes right now. And what you see here on the y-axis is something we call shopper yield, dollars divided by shoppers. It's basically normalizing the sales by the demand. On the x-axis, it's the different days of the month. And what you see is that on some days, the shop yield is quite high, maybe $25 per shopper. And some days, the shop yield is only $6 per shopper. And you might be thinking, well, this is because of the marketing or because of the merchandising. But no, it's entirely because of who's on the selling floor on that day. So I talked about the three challenges. The first thing that you have to do is you have to know who are the shoppers. What is the shopper profile? To do that, we use our sensors. We essentially ship the sensors in a box to our retailers. They attach it to whatever power source it's in the ceiling, be it track light or something else. And it uses three different sensing modalities to essentially profile the shoppers coming to store. It's not just counting the shoppers. It's also looking at the mobile fingerprints using audio analytics to really get a sense of what does a shopper profile look like. We then take a page out of what Uber does, which is allowing the employees to give their availability anytime, anywhere. And we found by doing that, we actually increase the flexibility of the labor. We feed all this data into a cloud-based forecaster. It essentially looks at 
weather predictions, marketing calendars, and other data to essentially forecast over the next scheduling period what is the shopper profile going to look like. And then rather than just staffing warm bodies against this forecasted demand, what we do is we try to assemble the best composition of a selling team that matches these shopper profiles. So for instance, you may find that person A and person B work better together and have higher sales together versus, let's say, person B and person C. They may actually have lower sales together. So we think about the team dynamics of how to assemble the best sales team. So I showed you part of this graph before. Let me tell you the rest of the story. So by having the right composition and right number of salespeople on a sales floor, what you'll see is that you get higher peaks of sharper yield and more frequent peaks of sharper yield. The result is that overall, you get anywhere from a 10% to 30% boost in revenue. In the case with this retailer, they got a 20.6% increase in revenue using the same exact labor budget. Now, some of you might be thinking, what's 20%? Well, if you think about what is the average growth of retail, it's only about 1.2% per year. So 20% is massive. It's 10x what most retailers can expect. But the other thing to think about is that a 2% boost in revenue for a retailer, if you hold the budget constant, is equivalent to a 10% boost in profits. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how do you know you actually gave them 20%? The way we do that is we do twin studies. We're essentially run in one store as a test store, so to speak, optimize the staffing for the salespeople, and then compare this against a control store, which has highly correlated sales. We actually did this in many cases, and we found that, for instance, we, were, we ran in one store at Valley Fair down in Silicon Valley, and compared against a control store in Glendale, which is in Southern California, we got an 18% boost in revenue. As a result, we have overwhelming demand for our product. We charge 85 cents per scheduled hour, and to date, we have over 6 million hours in annually recurring um, uh, bookings and signed contracts from many notable retailers. So you might be thinking, how do you do all of this? Well, what we've done is we assembled a kick-ass team that hails from universities like Stanford or Berkeley or from companies like Tencent or Qualcomm. And we coupled this with industry vets in retail, people who have been CIO or VP of IT at places like Williams-Sonoma, J.Crew, Toys R Us, Louis Vuitton. And this is all backed by some top-tier investors, Adrian Horitz, Google Ventures, Menlo Ventures, who gave us a $6 million seed round now, at this point in time, we've proven that there's a demand. We've proven that we can actually deliver value to our retailers. And, it, and we're looking to scale our sales and marketing and productization. If you're interested in joining this team, my name is Greg Tanaka. I'm founder and CEO. And Percolata helps retailers optimize their sales teams. Thank you.